Welcome to the Bible Talk Show, and again, it's alive. It's alive, Woo-hoo. everyone. The Bible yes. is alive. It's alive. Yes. That's why it's called the Bible, Bible. Talk. The living Be- word. Because if you're dead, you can't talk. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and God ain't dead. No. Woo-hoo. He's alive. And that's why we're here today. I'm Minister Love, Sister Sandra, and we come in every week to you to bring God's word alive in a dead society. Right. Y'all right. may be looking all pretty on the outside, but you're really dead on the inside. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, you're, you're sleeping. Yeah, right. Sleeping and dead because you don't have a clue uh, uh, of what's going on. What's happening. That's right. That's right. Well, today's show is going to be, we're talking about uh, the word of God in the old, in the in the uh, uh, new world system. God's word is old, it's ancient, it ain't going to change. It's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But the world system is what's changing. And it's the word of God that changes the world system. So what we're going to sh- uh, show you today is that we want you to see how God talks to individuals, don't we, say Right. That? Uh, give the audience some of the people that we've studied so far that God has spoken to. Who has the word came to? Okay, uh, several weeks ago was Jacob. Uh huh. It also was David. Mm-hmm. And we also had a donkey. Uh-uh. Also the donkey. <laughs> right. And the word of the Lord. That's right. So it changes every week. So. Right. Right. <laughs> so if God can talk to human beings way thousands of years ago, don't you think He's still talking to you and me today? Sure. But you got to be hearing his voice. That's why you got to hear the Bible talk show. So you can tune in and get God's word even more right. clear. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So today, Sandy, tell them who are we gonna uh who's been talking to God. Who who okay. are we gonna talk about today? Today's gonna be the words of Hannah. Mm. Right. Hannah. On the bigger show. Well, hey, we're not gonna delay. We're gonna go ahead and get into the scriptures and Sandy, uh, uh give the audience our scripture that we're gonna go okay. to in the course. If you have your Bibles ready, it's first Samuel mm-hmm. one. Verse 11. All right. And she vowed a vow, said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. All right. So there it is. So what uh, what we're seeing here with Hannah is that Hannah had a need for something. She was in want of of a child. Did she go to man? Did she go to the doctors and the physicians and say, I want to do me a test tube, baby, or anything? No. No. Who did she go to? She went to the Lord. Say? Yeah. Back those days. Uh Uh-huh. Way back then. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you still could do that today. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And this was saying that this took place back uh, around 1,156 B.C. Wow. So we're talking over 3,000 years ago, y'all, right. that Hannah knew exactly who to go to. She knew who were, She knew who was alive. Right. She knew who would talk to her. Notice that she talked directly to the Lord right. of hosts, which is Jehovah Sabbath. So that's what we need to do. And that's why Sandy and I come in every week. We want y'all to get in the habit, get in the conversation of talking to the Lord. Right. Whatever your problem is. Right. Go to him first. That's it. Go to him first. And you will see things that will amaze you. Mm-hmm. It will amaze you. Mm-hmm. I, I have to give a, 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 I have to, a, a tell on you, Sandy. Now, when Sandy and I got together, Sandy started the website. Uh, we partnered together. Now, Sandy... Uh, uh, this is new for her, and she's doing the website and the YouTubes and everything. Sandy didn't go to no man. She went directly to the Holy Spirit and said, Holy Spirit, Lord, I need you to show me this and show me that. How do I work this? How do I work that? And guess what? We got a Bible talk show on YouTube. We got the website. Why? Because you went directly to the Lord. Right. See, right. He, he talked to you. That's right. He guided you, didn't he, Say Right, right. Say it. And yeah, we do videos, photos, uh-huh. all kind of flyers, different kind of stuff right. because the Lord helps us to do that. He helps. Uh-huh. And notice what Hannah did. No training, no, no classes. Uh-uh, that's right. That's, yeah. And so you know it was the Lord. You right. know it was the Lord. And notice what Hannah said 
when the when she asked the Lord for a child, she said, "Okay, Lord, if you give me this child, I'm going to give him back to you." Right. Well, that reminds me of you saying with the with the ministry with the website and YouTube. You say, "Okay, Lord, help me." And I'm going to give this back to you. And this is God's Bible talk show. This is God's website. Right. Uh, uh, the, the phone Bible study ministry on the black hoop. It's all God. Right. Say me, I don't do this for our personal gratification. Right. No. We gave it all back to no, him. No. The Holy Spirit told me what to name the website. Why sure did. woke me up one night. No, everything that we have here is God. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not us. This, this has nothing to do with us. Uh -uh. We're, we're just the vehicles. That can in, in this reality can bring forth the right. words and, and the trainings, but it's through the Holy Spirit that's mm -hmm. coming out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we study, when we teach you, mm -hmm. when we create things, right. it's the Holy Spirit. That's right. Yeah. So what are you willing? What are you willing to give up today? What are you willing to give back to God if God gave you something? Are you willing to make a vow and give it back to God? See, a lot of us are hoarders. We don't want to give God back nothing. And the worst thing that you can't give God back, see, God don't want your money. And y'all got to get out of this thing in the churches with the money thing. Because you think by giving God your 10%, now God is going to give you 110% on something. God don't want your money. No. God wants your time. Right. And that's it. Right. He wants your time. Right. Because if you give him your time, you're giving him your love. Right. Woo -hoo. You're doing your path while you were put here. That's right. You're doing what he put you here to do. That's and right. That's time. And that's time. time. Because time is money. Right. And money is time. And God will provide the money. Yes, he will. That we need to do whatever he asks us to that's do. That's right. But if you, you give him the time, he'll give you the money. Right. He'll provide the rest. Uh-huh. But see, we want we want to do it the opposite. We want to give him the money and don't give him no time. No. Well, I just give him the money. I'm cool. I'm done. I done did my ties. I'm cool. I'm cool. Right. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. You give him time, and then he'll give you money. Right, he'll he'll, he'll meet your he needs. Sure will. He meet your needs. You won't be a bad person. Sure won't. You will have a roof over your head. You have That's right. To eat. That's right. But you know, you're not going to be being elaborate. You may be simple. Uh, uh, and that's how y'all live. Right. That's true. Yeah, uh, uh, a, a guy took me from a four bedroom, three bathroom house, huge deck, dining room, living room. I had everything in that beautiful home, and now I'm down to a studio, and it's the best thing ever. Love it. Love it. Right. Hey, let's take one to Colossians, Sandy. All right. Colossians chapter 3. We're going to take a look at verse 16, listeners. The Bible talk show. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Y'all talk along with us. Talk with God with us. We love it. Colossians 3, 16. Sandy, read that for us. All right. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. What? Hey, hallelujah. Oh, Sandy, you got to talk about that one real quickly. We probably got a couple minutes. What do you see in that one? Uh, the, um, the wisdom and uh, different things. We, we have that in uh, the block who that we have as our ministry uh -huh. has part of that, has wisdom in it. It's uh, uh -huh. busy, busy ladies achieving Christ knowledge understanding and wisdom mm -hmm. and and we are dwelling in his wisdom because minister love teaches every week mm -hmm. us uh the knowledge and so that we'll have the wisdom so that we can go out and um sing praise to god and mm -hmm. teach people things and the spiritual songs and singing mm -hmm. and have grace over our hearts and our, our life mm -hmm. and this is what we do we That's do right. this daily Every day. This is exactly mm -hmm. us daily. That's right. And Cindy, did you notice what Paul said? The very first thing in that, in that verse that caught my eye. He says, what? Let the word of Christ right. dwell in well. you. He didn't say let the word of man dwell in you. Right. He didn't say let the word of woman dwell in you. He said the word of Christ. And where do you get the word of Christ? Right, right here, here in this Bible. That's right. If you ain't in your Bible, how are you going to have the word of God dwelling in you you're if not. you're not even in the book? Right. That's right. And notice what he said. I love this. I love this. Notice he said, when the word of Christ is in us, we are rich. See, you're not rich with your 401ks right. and your pensions right. and your stock option. That's not wealth, y'all. Right. You are wealthy. You are rich when you let the word of God come into your life, into right. your heart, into your mind, your soul, your spirit. You are rich right. with wisdom. 
Yeah! Knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. Understanding. Right, the gifts True. that he gives us, the fruits and the gifts yeah. that we can get, the things that we can learn to get rid of all of our um, emotional mm -hmm. mess that uh, is in the flesh, that we try to uh, stay in the spirit so that we can hear God when he's telling us things, that when he wants us to do things, when we can uh, study and mm -hmm. understand great, greater you can in more depth that's right. understand the word because this Bible has so many layers yes so many layers mm -hmm. like people are trying to decode the Bible because yeah there are people, yeah. actual people out there decoding the Bible but when you study the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. comes in because he's in us that's and right the Holy Spirit wants to tell us something because he tells us when it's time right. to tell us that's right. and and you start at one layer go to another layer <laughs> another layer and it's just Quite amazing. And you get rich, don't you? Yeah. Woo! Quite amazing. And every day you do this, your life changes. That's right. The flesh gets less and less oh, control good. over you. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's right. Because mm. you have peace. That's right. And you have joy. Things don't bother you like before. That's right. So it's quite amazing. It's quite mm -hmm. a, a change. That it, it really is. Yes. Well, this ties right into our last scripture for uh, this show, uh, Sister Sandy. Right. We're going to take our listeners now. Go with us. Travel with Sandy and I to Mark chapter 4. Right. And I'm going to read for us verse 19. Now, y'all got to get this scripture. So I pray you got your Bibles open now. You got to hear this scripture because this is, this is so important. Listen. And again... Jesus is talking. Right. This is what Jesus says. He says in verse 19, And the cares of this world, your bank account, stock options, right. uh, can I get my kids to the soccer game? Uh, uh, I need to go here and take them to the piano lessons. Oh, I got to be at the beauty shop. Oh, I got to go get this done. Fix See, your nails. Uh, uh, I got to get my nails done. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah. And the cares of this world, and the dis Deceitfulness of riches. Wow. That's your money. Right. That, uh, that's, rich. Uh, that's the New York Stock Exchange. Right. The Dow Jones market. Wow. Come on. The S P. Come on. Wow. And the lust wow. of other things entering in. Wow. So so when you get the cares of the world, you got the deceitfulness of the riches, you got the lust of the other things. All of this is now coming into your life, coming into your spirit. Right. Guess what Jesus said was going to happen to you? Whoa. This is what's going to happen. It's going to choke the word. So if you started Bible study, if you started uh, 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 learning the right. word of God, and you just are new in this thing, but all of a sudden you let all this other stuff come in, Whoa. it's now going to it's gonna take that. It's kind of like this. The word is going to choke it. That's what that's what the world it, right. it chokes it so that you give up. What right. did Jesus say? It's gonna choke the word and now you're gonna become unfruitful. Wow. That's deep. Right. That's, that's, that's deep. deep. That's, that's deep. Really that's deep. deep. So this is why it's so important. You got to keep the word. Don't let the world distract you. Right. Oh, I got to have the latest phone. Oh, I got to have the latest laptop. Oh, I got to have the latest. Thing. I need that one thousand dollar iPhone. Really? Right. Or tonight I can't study because I have to uh, take uh, my kids somewhere. Uh, right. Or I'm too tired. Uh, uh, or or I, I had a, I had a bad day. Yeah. 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 Come on, uh -huh. come on. And before you know it, you ain't going to church, you ain't praying, you ain't studying. Why? Because the cares of the world done choke that word out of you. That's right. That's right. Woo! And that's really happening to a lot of our people. Sure is. It is. Because they just it's overwhelming. They just can't deal uh -huh. with it. And you wonder why you're not fruitful. When you ain't got no word in you. Yeah, you like, haven't done anything. And you ain't did nothing. Right. It's kind of like uh let's take a, a the natural agricultural uh scene here. Okay, now I give you a corn seed and I put the seed in the ground. Right. Now if I leave the seed in the ground, I'm expecting that seed to come up. Right. But if I get impatient and I go back and the cares of the world, like, I, I, I need that seed to grow right now. I need it right now. And you ain't got no patience. What you going to do? You're going to go in, the cares of the world, you're going to make you take that word out. And now you ain't going to be fruitful because you ain't got nothing in the ground. Right. Or you don't take the time to water it. Right. Or fertilize mm -hmm. it. And it's the same thing with this. With the word of water God. Water this. You got to and you water and fertilize by your prayer, right. by sharing the gospel, right. by studying it. That's how you water. Right. You have to every day cultivate tend to it. Tend to it. Right. That's good. Hey, listen, we're going to end right there. That's going to conclude another 
Bible talk show with uh, Minister Love and Sister Sandy. As we come on, we're going to go off. This Bible talk it's show is alive. alive. It's alive. Join us next week. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. All right.